first tip is getting Wi-Fi almost everywhere, and that's how to get Wi-Fi coverage in all sorts of places. One of the biggest things about the uh, iPad, the biggest decisions people make, is whether to get the Wi-Fi version or the 3G version, which has a kind of a phone modem built in. So the 3G version can get coverage any place that a, a cell phone can get data coverage which is a little tricky, but um, cell phones, you know, get voice coverage in a very wide area and they get data coverage in a somewhat smaller area. So if your iPad is uh, a 3G model, you think that you can get connected in more places and you can, but you really would prefer to have Wi-Fi access because it's faster and more reliable. There's fewer drops and so on. So you really want Wi-Fi access. And if you have a Wi-Fi only iPad, it's the only way you can get connected. So at home, you might have a, you know, a Wi-Fi setup that you can use there, but what about when you go out and about? Well, first of all, there are a lot of Wi-Fi networks around. However, a lot of them, if you check for a Wi-Fi network and you don't know whose Wi-Fi network it is, it might be something that's set up to intercept passwords and so on. So you have to be really careful about using Wi-Fi networks that are just out there. But there are two solutions that you can have control of that have actually been used by a lot of people and even some of the phone companies have used these approaches. The first is to use your phone as a wireless hotspot. Some phones, not including the iPhone at this point, but Android phones, for instance, can mostly be used as a wireless hotspot. And that means that you use the cell network to create a wireless hotspot that your computer and other people's computers and devices can then tap into up to five of them. So that's really great for using uh, your Wi-Fi iPad out in the world, just as if it was a 3G iPad, because you're getting coverage from your cell phone. And we should expect to see this on more phones in the future. Finally, there's a device called the MiFi, which does the same kind of thing, except it doesn't work as a telephone. It's only a wireless hotspot, and it supports up to five different devices, and you get a data plan for it. And it's quick and convenient because you can use it with your iPad or your laptop or someone else's laptop, you can be like the wireless guy or wireless gal for a meet meeting of several people with several devices. And that's so convenient and uh, really helpful when you're traveling and so on. So those are a couple of ways that you can get wireless in ways you might not have expected.